WAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP, and it's a combination of softwares that we usually install on a server to turn it to a web server where we can host our PHP-based applications on it like WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Laravel, or other PHP-based applications. Apache plays the role of the web server, MySQL, of course, is the database management server, and PHP for serving the PHP applications. In this video, we'll be installing a LAMP stack on a brand new Linux server and running a PHP applications on it for you to see. In the previous videos, we deployed this VPS server that is up and running and has a dedicated IP, but we have not installed any web server on it. So if I just call its IP address via browser, we won't see anything loaded. In this video, we will be installing a LAMP stack on the server, then we will be serving the PHP application so it will behave just like a web server. I'm here logged into the server with a terminal via SSH, and the first step is installing the Apache server, and it's done by typing sudo apt update to update the system. and then sudo apt install apache2 and uh, here is asking for a confirmation if you see a question like this with y capital it means that yes answer is default so you don't need to type y or yes or something just press enter and go ahead Now the Apache server is installed and we need to enable it and then start it. So I type sudo systemctl enable apache2. And this will enable the Apache service. And afterward we type sudo systemctl start apache2. And now Apache is up and running. To make sure about it, we can type systemctl status Apache 2 to make sure the Apache service is active. The next step is installing our database management server. So type sudo apt install mariadb server and press enter. Wait for the server to install and after that to secure the server type sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. Press enter and we don't have a root password. Press enter. We want to switch to Unix socket authentication the default answer is Y, so press enter. And here we want to set a root password, press enter. Set a root password, press enter. We type the password, press enter, 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 and done. Now that we have the MySQL installed, we need to enable and start it just like what we did with Apache 2. So type sudo systemctl enable MariaDB. And after enabling it, we need to start it by typing sudo systemctl start MariaDB. And now the system is sorted. To check it out, we can type systemctl status MariaDB. And the server is active and running. The last part of installation is PHP and its modules. So we can type sudo apt install PHP itself and then the Apache library lib apache2-mod-php and 
dash php and the other one is php dash mysql and by installing them we have all the lamp stack installed and ready now to make sure everything is working together we can restart the apache server by typing sudo systemcdl restart apache2 and now we should be good to go and use our lamp server so let's create a file with this code inside we create a php tag and use the php info function of php and close the tag and this will be the code inside a file that we want to put into this directory var www.html that is the native directory of apache server and let's call it index.php php info is the name of a native php function that returns the information about apache and php server and it's a common way to trace back the information about the server so we use it after installation usually now it's time to test the server by calling the ip of the server via browser and check if something comes up if everything's fine and the server is working without any obstacle you should see the php info or the index php output in your browser just by calling the server but sometimes you may see something like this the web browser is just loading and nothing comes up and that's maybe because of a reason that i want to talk about now ufw or uncomplicated firewall is the native linux firewall that in some cases may be preventing our web server to work properly on http and https to make sure that the firewall is not preventing we need to type sudo ufw the name of the firewall and then status and in this specific case we see that only port 22 is allowed and it means that we don't have the port 80 and uh, 4043 open that are related to http and https protocol that uh, load the web pages via browser so we need to enable those ports and restart the ufw reload the ufw firewall to make sure that the ports are open to open a port we type sudo ufw allo and then the port number slash tcp also we do the same for port 4043 and after that we type sudo ufw reload now if i type sudo ufw status again we will have port 80 and port 4043 open now if i check the ip with my browser again i must be able to see the the server output and this is the index file of the apache server and this page is loading by default because it's an html file and as you know html is prior to php or other extensions so if i add a, an index.php at the end of the path we will see the php and full file that we created while installation all this means that our server or lamp stack is installed and our php server is working properly and from now on whatever that we put in this directory will be considered a website and it can serve any type of php applications that also we have MariaDB that we can use as the database management server so it's a complete server with apache and MariaDB as a database management and php and all those modules to run any type of php application on this server 
In the next videos of this Linux series, we'll be installing more applications on this server, for example, phpMyAdmin that is considered a graphical user interface for managing the databases, WordPress, Joomla, and other applications for you to see how we can run any type of PHP application on a server like this. Hope this helped, and until the next one, I bid you farewell.